Hi guys, uh, for today we will take a regular section. So the problem is a hollow box beam as shown here it has the following material properties. So F5 is 28 megapascals. F5 is 345 megapascals. We will assume that the hollow box beam carries a factored moment of 540 kN meter. If it is a factored moment, it means that it is already the ultimate moment. Then the first requirement is determine the location of the neutral axis from the top of the beam for a balanced design. So the figure is this one. Uh, the thickness of this is 125. Same is true with the other side. And the width of this hollow part of the box beam is 250. So the total base is now equal to 500 millimeters. And the effective depth is 750 millimeters. The thickness of this part is 150 mm. You notice that this doesn't have any thickness. It will not affect the solution anyway. Then, the first thing that you will do to be able to determine the location of the neutral axis is to draw the stress diagram as well as the strain diagram to guide you in your solution. So, for the de in determining the neutral axis, the first requirement, in the strain diagram, for a balanced design, this should already be the strain at tip point or the strain sub y. And you can immediately compute that using this formula. Strain sub y is equal to Fy. You divide that by the modulus of elasticity of steel, which is always 200,000 megapascals. And your Fy is 345, so solving this, you will get a 0 0.0017. So this is already 0 0.0017. And using this figure here, the strain diagram, we can now compute the C, which is the distance of the neutral axis from the top fiber under compression in balance design. So C sub B, C sub B is to 0 0.003 as to 750 minus C sub B is to the strain sub y, which is this one, 0.0017. So solving C sub b, you will get up 462.77 millimeters. So this is now the location of the neutral axis from the top fiber of the beam under compression for a balanced design. To be able to solve the next requirement, the balance is still area, which is A sub S. B. We will now make use of the formula A is equal to beta times C. But since it is a balanced design, so this will have a subscript of B, small, uh, small letter B, and a subscript also of C with small letter B. Our beta is equal to 0.85 because our F prime C is only 28 megapascals. So allowing this to be 0.85, and after solving C sub B, we substituted here, we will get now the A at balance design, which is equal to 393.35 millimeters. So, knowing this, A sub B, we can now make use of the, the equation of pressing force is equal to the tensile force. But the compressive force is acting on this regular area. If this is our C, and this is our A, smaller than C, so this is actually A sub B, C sub B. Then this is now the area under compression. This shaded part, and this other shaded part. So uh, this shaded part of the beam is now under compression. But we will divide this into regular areas. Okay. So, C is now equal to, considering this 
shaded areas on both sides, it is now equal to 0.85 F5C times. This is uh, 125, 125 times, times A sub B. Our A sub B here is 393. So this is now 125. But times 2, because this area here is the same as the area of the times 2. Plus, so 0.85 F prime C times the area in the middle, the middle. And this area in the middle is equal to this one, 250 times this thickness is 125. So you can see it here, 250 times, I'm sorry, 150. So this came from the formula. For C, it's always equal to 0.85 times F prime C times the area under compression taken separate. So that's how to compute the C if it is an irregular area. And it is now equal to the tensile force. And the tensile force is equal to the area of steel times the F1. So this actually, the original formula here is AS F1. Why? But this AS here is the balance steel area. So the only unknown now here is, you know, this FY, it's already given in the problem. So the only unknown is the AS at balance design. And computing this, you will get now 9,371 millimeter square. So that's now the solution of the two requirements of the irregular session problem.